hey there welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you six easy and simple bracelet making tutorial it's a beginner special video i already made this bracelet video in my short segment but some people don't understand all the technique well that's why i want to make the detailed video i hope it will help them two needle methods are beginners friendly that's why i'm going to use two needle methods here but it can be made with single needle also one request please consider one like and subscribe just to show love and support and my friend from which country you watch this video please let me know in the comment section i'm very much excited to know and the tools i used in this video is chain nose plier and bend nose plier but you can use flat nose plier also so let's make the beads bracelet one by one now i'm going to make this design at first so for that we need some 6 mm pearl beads red bead 6 mm beading thread 0.20 mm or you can use fishing line or nylon beading thread two beading needle number 10 and you can use any kind of clasp according to your choice and availability and then jump ring now you can take about 100 cm long thread for the 6 in bracelet and now attach two needle on both ends now pick up two pearl beads 6 mm and two red bead 6 mm in the any needle and drop it down to the middle of the thread now i'm taking my right needle to cross the first pearl bead in the left side like this for my convenience i simply tap it down on the table now i pick up one pearl bead in my left needle and now i'm picking up two red beads in my right needle now i'm taking my left needle and cross it through the first red bead in the right side then i pick up one red bead in my left side then i pick up two pearl beads in my right side now take the left needle and cross it through the first pearl bead and repeat and continue like this until you reach your desired length i have done mine now i'm going to finish so pass the right needle through the two red beads and then pass the next two pearl beads now tie a few secure knots over here and if you have time you can check out my shorts videos also so many easy and aesthetic jewelry tutorials out there pass the two needle through couple beads and then cut off the extra tail thread and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for further updates now open the jump ring and attach it and then attach the clasp and do the same in another side also so you can see it's ready i'm going to make the second one so we need some blue pearl beads 8 mm and golden seed beads 8 o now take about 100 cm long thread for the 6 in bracelet and attach two needle on both ends now pick up three golden beads 8 o and one blue beads 8 mm and one golden bead plus 1 blue bead plus 4 golden beads and drop it down to the middle of the thread now take the left needle and pass through the last golden bead in the right side if you have time you can visit my channel for more videos and playlist now pick up one blue bead in the left and one blue bead in the right needle then pick up three golden beads in the left needle I pick up four golden beads in my right needle. Now take the left needle and pass through the last golden bead in the right side. Pick up one blue bead and three golden beads in the left side. Then pick up one blue bead and four golden beads in the right side. Now take the left needle and pass through the last bead in the right side. So in this way, you have to repeat and continue up to your desired length. As you can see, I have completed mine. Now I'm going to finish it. So simply I'm passing my right needle through three golden beads plus one blue bead plus one golden bead plus one blue bead 
and three golden beads i would love to remind you to like this video your one like cost you nothing but it's really motivate me to make more videos for you now simply tie couple knots over here according to your convenience you can turn off the subtitle button in your youtube settings anytime or you can tell me your favorite subtitle and i will put them now i simply cut off the extra tail thread here now i'm going to attach the jump ring and spring clasp you can use any kind of clasp according to your choice and availability now attach the extension chain and it's ready now i'm going to make the third one so we need some pearl beads 4 mm roundly crystal beads 6 mm now take approximately 100 cm long thread for the 6 inch bracelet and now pick up three pearl beads plus one red bead and drop it down to the middle of the thread now take your lap needle and cross it through the crystal bead in the right side now pick up one pearl bead in the right side and two pearl beads in the lap side now take the right needle and pass through the last bead in the lap side pick up one pearl bead in the right side then pick up one pearl bead and one red bead in the left side now take the right needle and pass through the last red bead in the left side pick up one pearl bead in the right side and two pearl beads in the left side now take the right needle and pass through the last bead in the left side So in this way you have to repeat and continue up to your desired length. As you can see I have completed. Now pass the right needle through the one pearl bead plus one red bead plus one pearl bead. Now it's time to secure the end. Now tie a few secure knots over here. Now cut off the extra tail thread here. I'm going to attach the clasp over here. So it's done. I'm going to make the fourth one. So we need some red crystal bead 6 mm, black crystal bead 6 mm and golden seed beads 11 o. Take about 100 cm long thread. I'm using here nylon fishing line. Pick up 7 golden seed beads 11 o. and drop it down to the middle of the thread now take the right needle and pass through the first golden bead in the left side this will be the closer loop of the bracelet pick up one red bead plus one golden plus one red crystal bead in the left side pick up one red bead plus one golden bead in the right side Now take the left needle and pass through the golden bead in the right side. If you have any queries or suggestion regarding my videos, please ask me. I would love to answer them. Now pick up one black, one golden, one black bead in the right side. Then pick up one black, one golden in the left side. Then take the right needle and pass through the golden bead in the left side. Now pick up one red, one golden, one red in the left side. Then pick up one red plus one golden bead in the right side. Now take the left needle and pass through the golden bead in the right side. Now simply repeat and continue up to your desired length. As you can see I have completed mine. Now I'm going to make the closer loop. So pick up 6 golden bead in the right needle. Now pass the right needle through the top golden bead like this. Now pass through this way, one red plus one golden, one red, one golden and one red bead.
Now simply tie a few secure knots here. Now cut off the extra tail thread. I'm going to attach the magnetic clasp over here. With the help of jump ring, you can use any kind of clasp. So you can see it's ready. I'm going to make the fifth one. So we need some pearl bead 6mm, red crystal bead 6mm and golden seed beads 8O. Take about 100cm long thread for the 6 inch bracelet and attach two needle on both ends. Pick up one red, one golden, one pearl, one golden, one pearl, one golden, one red and one golden bead in the right needle and drop it down to the middle of the thread. Now take the left needle and pass through the first golden bead in the right side. Then pick up one red plus one golden, one pearl and one golden bead in the left side. Pick up one red, one golden, one pearl bead in the right side. Now take the right needle and cross it through the last golden bead in the left side. Now pick up one pearl, one golden and one red and one golden bead in the left side. Now pick up one pearl, one golden and one red crystal bead in the right side. Now take the right needle and pass through the last golden bead in the left side. So in this way you have to repeat and continue up to your desired length. As you can see I have done mine, now I am going to finish it. This way you have to pass through one pearl, one golden, one red, one golden, one red, one golden and one pearl bead like this. Now simply tie couple knots here. Then cut off the extra tail thread. Now attach the jump ring and clasp like this. As you can see it's ready, now I'm going to make the last one. So we need some pearl beads 8mm, bicon crystal beads 4mm and golden seed beads 11 o. Take about 100cm long thread for the 6 inch bracelet and pick up 6 golden seed beads 11 o and drop it down to the middle of the thread. Now take the right needle and pass through the last bead in the left side. This will be the closer loop. Now I pick up two golden beads 11 o in the right side and pick up two golden beads plus one crystal bicon beads in the left side. Take the right needle and pass through the last crystal bead in the left side. Now I pick up one crystal bead in the right side and then pick up two crystal bead in the left side. Now take the right needle and cross it through the last crystal bead in the left side. Now I pick up one golden plus one pearl plus one golden bead in the right side. Then I pick up one golden plus one pearl plus one golden plus one crystal bead in the left side. Now take the right needle and cross it through the last crystal bead in the left side. Then pick up one crystal bead in the right side and pick up two crystal bead in the left side. And then take the right needle and cross it through the last crystal bead in the left side. Now pick up one golden plus one pearl plus one golden bead in the right side. Now pick up one golden, one pearl, one golden and one crystal bead in the left side. Now take the right needle and cross it through the last crystal bead in the left side. So repeat this and continue up to your desired length. Now we have to make the closer loop like this. Pick up two golden beads in the right side. Now pick up three golden beads in the left side and then take the right needle and cross it through the last bead in the left side. Now I pick up 5 golden beads in the left needle and 
go back through the middle golden beads like this. Now pass the right needle through two golden beads over here. Now take the left needle and pass through the two golden beads and one crystal beads over here. And if you found this video helpful and you want to pay something as a gift, now you can donate me by clicking super thanks button in my any videos. It really support me and motivate me to make more videos for you. Now tie a few secure knots here. Now cut up the extra tail thread and attach the jump ring and toggle clasp over here. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. So it's done. I hope you understand the tutorial well. See you in next tutorial till then take care. Stay safe. Bye bye.